I'm standing on the roof of the Skinner School, one of the pioneers in sustainable STEM. To my right is the old school building, built in 1880. To my left is a wind and solar unit, as part of an investigation two years ago to find which source of energy will be best for our school. After just one year, it was conclusive. There was no question. It had to be solar. The reason we didn't choose wind power, it was just too unreliable. Instead, we applied for a grant and we got 60 amazing solar panels, 40 of which are behind me right now, and 20 on the front of this block. These solar panels provide enough power to power the whole of the science block and at weekends pump energy back into the grid. To my right are the 20 solar panels in full view of the schoolyard. This affects the schoolboys and gets them interested in learning STEM and the future that our school has. This is the data logger. We use this to measure SO2 in and around Skinner's school. We can then upload this to Google Maps where we can see where the real hot spots are and hopefully improve this at Skinner's school. Matt, you've seen what we can do here at Skinners. We take STEM very seriously, especially sustainable STEM. We think that the future is bright. The future is Skinners. Oi, here boy, you're late. Get into lessons. 